Guys, let's move forward. Let's address the topic. Because this, I think, is the topic that I think everyone in 1.6 needs to talk about. And for any of the manufacturers that are watching, hopefully we do not incriminate ourselves here because they're going to be like, at a live stream at 6.03 p.m. on Will Fox Vacation, you all said that you're willing to pay X amount for a figure. So now we're going to charge that X amount. I want to ask you guys something. And the reason I bring this up, Obstacle kind of led into this a little bit, but I'm going to start with this one. In our Aragorn, most of us view this price as pretty reasonable, I would say. At $480, I think maybe we're just used to it at this point. We're accustomed to it. But I wanted to ask you guys, how much are you willing to pay for a 1.6 figure? Because I think as more companies start to enter the fold in terms of 1.6, they enter the marketplace, I think we're going to get used to spending more than we've been currently accustomed to being used to. Um, I think when J&D enters and when other companies possibly enter 1.6 and this competition really starts heating up, you're going to see more premium, high-end marketed figures. And at that point, you're going to be paying more than you're used to paying for a figure. So Optico, I want to start with you because you are the most seasoned of all of us of collectors. How much really are you willing to pay for a 1.6 figure? Because I think we're starting to see things change a bit. And this is kind of like to answer Ganesh earlier, why <laughs> I haven't pre-ordered Aragorn. Uh, and that's a big that's a big part of it. And mm-hmm. it's not like I can't afford Aragorn right. or Joker. It's not like I can't. Like I I think I spent like 2000 for <laughs> pop culture the other day. <laughs> yeah, uh, you did. <laughs> it's... There's a lot of factors going into this, right? Like, how much am I? So, answer the question: How much are you willing to pay for a one six figure? I guess depending on. Uh, there's a lot of factors to it, but my biggest thing is that at the end of the day, these are toys, right? And I don't really want to be a dumbass, even though I can't afford it, to spend five hundred dollars on a doll. Okay, I, I know people doesn't want to hear. Oh, it's a piece of art. It's a doll. It's a toy. Uh, I could I afford it? I sure could. But I already feel a dumbass buying this Hot Toys figure for $300. <laughs> and you make me want to spend $1,000 because it has real hair. You know, kind of like, okay, uh, I mean, at, at some point, I got to be an adult, right? <laughs> at some point, I got to be, a, I got to feel like a man again and be like, you got to draw the line somehow. It's like, I am not going to be a dumbass and pay. I, as much as I like Aragorn and, and Lord of the Rings, I, I I just can't, you know, like the, the price is probably where we're at now, but you can see Hot Toys kind of step back with, with some of their, you know, like the uh, um, Anakin Skywalker is less than 300. I think they're, you know, to a some, to some degree, you're going to be like, yeah, I mean, it looks real, but to Kiko's point earlier, like, are, what can Kiko take a good picture of a Mesco and make it look good? He could, right. He doesn't need rooted hair for that. Um, I'm the only one who sees this. Am I, just, <laughs> am, I just, am I the only one fooling myself when I go to my base and was like, this Aragorn looks great. You mm-hmm. know, it's like, do I need the best, the finest for these dolls? That's that's what it comes down to, right? Mm. Um, I would say around 300 would be my 320. <laughs> and that is not like, you know, it's, of course you get the die cast and all that stuff. I haven't bought anything since, you know, November or something. And it's probably because... The game is changing, and I know it's going to be another topic. Uh, the game is changing, and I'm not sure I'm, if I'm willing to go with that flow. Mm. Like at the end of the day, I'm I'm a grown ass man, and I don't really want to spend x. Am- I don't want to lot x amount of dollars for these guys. And if mm. that means I'm going to do a, take a picture of Mesco or you know something else, I, the reason I collect is because it fuels my creativity. And I can be creative without owning the best things out there. Like with Kiko, what we were talking about earlier, he's making, you know, stuff happens with like minimum lighting and all that stuff. Yep. I, there comes to a point where you're going to be like, you're going to question your decisions in life. Like, shit, did I just bought a thousand dollar doll? <laughs> like, I mean, I'm wearing a wolf on my head. Well. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about my You've really hit rock bottom here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, kind of like, man. And, and with these guys, you don't know how they would perform in the aftermarket. You know, we're used to switching things here and there, right? right. We're used to switching things. It's like, all right, it doesn't mean that you buy Terminator now. It's going to last for you forever. We don't know if you're going to lose $300 when you sell your two-pack Joker. You know, right. and I'm, I hate losing money, you know? And, you know, it's just, <laughs> that's not where I'm here for. Uh, but yeah, I, the, the, the hobby in general is, is shifting. Mm-hmm. Uh, hot toys in 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 art and you know three zero and all that stuff. 
there's come there comes to a point and you're a grown ass adult and you'll be like yeah i'm not paying that <laughs> <laughs> you know kind of like it's kind of like you're buying a car it's like yeah yeah i can afford that but yeah no that would be a no you so know? Sorry, optical. Go ahead. I need. Oh no, no. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was going to ask you, optical. So, what if, what if you maybe? So again, maybe I'm just looking at this from a different perspective. Maybe if you, maybe what if you viewed it a little bit differently? In so far as like, okay, you're paying 480 for Aragorn, right? But on the same token, if you bought Taskmaster and Dusty Deadpool, and maybe another figure, or maybe just those two, you're paying pretty close to 480 anyway. So you yeah. paid the same amount anyway, right? But you bought a figure that's high end that you love more instead of buying a few characters that maybe you, you were just like, oh yeah, they were discounted, right? Which I think a lot of us do, we shop based on discounts, but at the end of the day, you're still spending the same amount, whether you're viewing it as I'm spending it for one or spending it for two or three, you're still spending the same amount on dolls, so to speak, right? right? So what if you to... viewed it more that way, where you're just kind of like, I paid 480 for Aragorn because I fucking love Aragorn, I want the best Aragorn, and then I didn't buy Taskmaster or whatever, or something like that, that maybe you were just kind of like, oh, I like taking pictures of it, but I don't really care about Taskmaster, because I think a lot of us do that. So, I mean, that's kind of maybe how I view it a little bit differently. You know what I mean? I, I view it in a terms of is how, what is easier to sell a million dollar house or three houses for $300,000 each. <laughs> sure. It's easier yeah. to sell a $300,000 house than to sell a, a million dollar house. Look at Michael Jordan's right. house it's still in the market. So right. that's, that's your comparison right there. I'm not, you know, I don't see myself doing this forever. And when I get out, I don't want a thousand dollars doll sitting on anything, you know, like sure, sure. I'm getting older and you know, I, this, this only goes for so long. And the last thing I want is not to be able to get my money back for that. Cause there's no guarantee for this guys so with, you look at this this way, yeah, in art is good, but they have so limited licenses. Right. What makes you think they're not going to do redo Joker? You know, oh, we're going to have a Joker 2.0. This is so much better. Now your Joker 1.0, the $1,000 that you bought, has no value, mm -hmm. even though you bought it for 1000 because they only can do Warner Brothers and, you know, limited stuffs. And that's one thing I don't want to do. Being, you know, I just, it's, there's sure. a lot of factors. And and with, with your example right there, if I lose $20 on Taskmaster because I bought it for 40 it won't hurt my feelings. It's like, cool. I, I don't mind 20 bucks. You know, I right. post the heck out of it. If I lose three hundred dollars on Aragorn, or if I, you know, or something, that that kind of like stings on you more. So I look at it in a more. I know we're all collectors here with passion and you know the, the love for nostalgia, but sometimes the adulthood comes to you and you sure. kind of step back and think different. It was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I could I could collect every in art figure out there, but at the end of the day, I was like, I'm, I'm thinking, it's like, what if these guys run out of Warner Brothers to produce? <laughs> yeah. Are they we'll going to get some other ones? Yeah, this Aragorn is 480. What if they, how can they top this, right? You're asking yourself, how can they top this? By making more characters? What are they going to do? Star Wars? They can't. They can't do Marvel. So what, yeah. what are they going to resort to? Aragorn in Helm's Deep. And how, <laughs> they, and how can they do that? They're going to maybe put two head sculpts. One is more sure. expressive. And now I got two Aragorn worth 1500 I mean, I love Lord of the Rings, don't get me wrong, but I'm not building a shrine of Viggo Mortensen in my house. Like, I'm not going <laughs> to dedicate... That would be pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to dedicate that much resources for Viggo Mortensen. But, you know, sure. it's it's different for everyone. You can collect with your heart or your passion. I'm, I'm, I've am I'm been here for so long that it's kind of like, you know, the brainwaves are kicking in, kind of like, yeah, you know what? Like, I'm doing it right now. Like... <laughs> Aliens, right? Like I, I bought one for Mesco because I feel like I don't need a hot toys of alien. I can take a picture of this Mesco of an alien. It doesn't, it doesn't have a real face. So that's good. Right. Is Aragorn so much better than Asmus? So much better. But I don't know if I really need one. I'm, I'm past I that point now where I'm trying on. to have a bigger dick than the other guy. Like, oh, <laughs> so I don't Aragorn. think it's a matter of big dick, bro. I think this is just fucking amazing. It is amazing. Like, but so is, it, like, would you like to drive a Maserati? Yes, you do, right? <laughs> you won't, like I'll rent one. Can you? You won't one? finance one. Can you? Can would they approve you? Sure, they could. You know, like mm. it's. I guess it, it's. It's. Uh, I'm playing the middle game right now, where this is not yeah. the most important thing in my life, so I could settle. Kind of like with that Delorean earlier. Do we? Do you really need one? For me, I mean, it's not for everyone. Yeah, sure. If you're like the best, the greatest of something. Go for it. But for me, this is not what I would apply it for. That That's what sense. I love about. Well, Kiko, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I told myself to go ahead. <laughs> yes, Keegan. <laughs> yeah, my go turn. Ahead. My turn. My turn. <laughs> but, but what I love about you know collecting and, and individualism is that it is so different 
per person and different stages of life and whatever it may be. And for me, on the other hand, this is like, I'm like the worst person to ask about how much you're willing to pay for a one six figure for someone that has collected backwards and have needed to get things simply because I have to have this piece. I know we talked, you know, with the in art is that there's an in art Michael Jackson coming. I am ashamed to tell you what I've paid for some of my hot toys, Michael Jackson figures, especially the Billie Jean figure. Um, that is actually the most expensive figure, I've, single figure I've ever bought was the Michael Jackson, Billie Jean. And so I'm that wrong person to ask, but here's one thing I did realize when it comes to these new versions of things coming out and you can say, do I need to do this? No, I, I don't, you know, put the adult hat on or the wolf hat, whatever you prefer. With that being said is there was a time when I remember when 2012 cap came out and the new one. And I was like, I don't need this. I got the old one. And you know, the, the new one was out and people were taking pictures and doing all that stuff. And I'd keep walking into my display and I'd be like, huh, yeah, fuck it. That's right. You know, I saved $200 you know, I don't need to worry about this. I just saved 200 bucks. I don't need this. But every time I would look at it, it would eat at me and eat at me. I was like, this is a piece of shit in my <laughs> display to where I was like, you know what? I cannot have this terrible thing staring at me when something better is out there. And for me, and this is all collecting philosophy, it all depends. Most collectors want the best version of something. And so they'll be like, okay, yeah, I understand the sentimental value of having something from your childhood or whoever it may be. You say, you know, I want my 1977 Star Wars figures. They're not making, you don't want a black series figure to replace that. That's different. But when you have a modified upgraded version of the same character from the same company, you're going to be like, okay, I want the definitive version of this because I'll take my losses. I want to have the, at least it's for me. I said, I'll take my loss. I will sell this for a hundred dollars and I want the real 2012 cap to put in here. And that's what I did. So how much am I willing to pay as long as I can continue to responsibly make a purchase, I suppose, and not hurt the people around me or, you know, my plans and things like that. I'll probably keep getting the nicer one out there because I know do I really want the Inart Aragorn? I don't like Lord of the Rings. You guys know that. Do I want the Inart Aragorn or do I want the Asmus ones? Do I want to keep walking in there? I was like, well, Aragorn's represented on my shelf. Good enough. Because I know most people will be like, ah, oh, shit. I hate, I don't even know who this is anymore. It looks like the uh, Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi sculpt. It just sucks. You know? That's what right. I mean. Well, I get where you're coming from. And I guess, like I said, with optical, like the way I kind of view it is, and I, I, I'd like, I respect, like I said, everyone's way to collect differently. The way I guess I view it is kind of like, it, you wouldn't want to overextend your budget. Right. So if you're taking right, that's most and, important. Right. I think that's most important. So if you're still spending the same amount of money, but you're like, cause every in our figure is not going to be for you. Right. Because there's, they're too expensive. Like you can't buy every single one. You got to be selective and you got to go after the characters you only truly love. Right. But in your case, optical, I feel like that would be Aragorn because Aragorn is a character that you love Lord of the Rings probably even more than I do, which is saying something. So I feel like for that type of person, you know, you could have that Aragorn, which is going to be really, really, really nice. Um, and as long as you're not overextending your budget and you're spending the same amount at the end of the day, then it's kind of like, yeah, this one thing is more expensive, but I cut, I trimmed a little bit of the fat to get to what I really wanted to the meat. Right. And that's kind of how I view it. So, um, but to, I mean, yeah, hey, optical, I get where you're coming from too, man. Like I said, if you, you know, if you feel like, man, it's just across a threshold, you don't really want to cross. I get that, you know? Yeah. And it's different too, like because the, the tier base that you guys have, like it's not right. gonna work for everyone too. Like it's for example, sure. me and Lael, because the tier base is like the characters you absolutely love. But we had right. like, for example, for me, I have a different vision. Like I don't love a Tuscan Raider, but I feel like he could be a filler, for example, to create a scene. So that means I have to buy him, even though he's not, let's say, tier Correct. S. Or scene tier one scene or based collecting is what right. I mean. so <laughs> scene like, based collecting. <laughs> you got like the SBC. scene where you have in mind. So now you, you know, it's, it's now you're playing with kind of like, oh, should I buy one really good one or should I create, you know, like the scene that I have in mind where, you know, you have this vision, whether it's going to happen or not, but, you know, you got that. So it, 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 it depends, you know, it depends on how you view or you want to, you, you want to do your collection. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, guys, we want to move on from that one because I want to tie us into another topic here that I think is on the track that we're headed towards anyway. 